Hey everybody, this is Jerichos, and welcome to another One Shot Saturday. Today I'm playing Illusoria. Much like my last two weeks, this is another game that was actually provided to me as a free review copy, and I'm quite excited about this. It's a 2D platformer. I really know nothing about it other than the art style looks really pretty. And I think I'm not playing as a demon this time. So, let's jump in and see what this game is about. Let's launch right into a new game, why don't we? I like the music already, it's a good start there. There is a wonderful place where everything can become reality, where its inhabitants have lived in peace for a long time. This place is called Illusoria. However, dark times threaten the world from the sky. High up in the citadel, the Empress Royal Advisor observes five stars cutting through the skies. According to an ancient prophecy, this is the signal that precedes the Puppet Master's arrival. He immediately went to see the current Empress, his niece, Amelia. The royal family has feared this omen for many years. Finally, the evil Puppet Master is coming to corrupt and destroy the world and the inhabitants of Illusoria. Jerome tries to soothe the Empress, reminding her that a hero able to tackle the Puppet Master will also appear, the Guardian of the Flame. With determination, he must find the orbs before the Puppet Master's influence swallows everything. But when will this hero of Illusoria show up? Okay, a little heavy-handed with the plot, but, you know, I'm still intrigued. Especially with this music. The spores explode when they touch any surface, and after some time, be careful of the explosion. Alright, looks like I'm, I don't have much choice. I'm starting on this first stage here. Chapter 1. Where am I? I mean, seriously, I love the art style. Um, he's walking. If I hold, is that shift? Yep, shift is to run. Cool. I can jump. What's interesting is I can't jump just on their own, but if I'm next to a wall, I seem to be able to. Oh! Space is the normal jump button, so up is just to climb. There we go. And... Okay, we don't seem to suffer fall damage, that's at least good. <laughs> you roll instead of crawling. Alright. I want that. You know what? Actually, can I pull that as well as pushing? Let's see. Yes! Yes, I can. We got a scroll! Whatever that does. I'm pressing start. Okay. Well, pressing start doesn't seem to do anything. Maybe we'll figure out... Oh, let's try. No, escape is just the menu. Hmm. Well, don't know how to access that scroll we just got. Ooh, what is that thing? Alright, well, I suppose... Let's jump and find out. It ate us! I had a feeling it might. Alright. Push this back over. At least we still have our scroll there. Now, this time, we're not gonna get eaten by the giant evil plant thing. Alright. Climb on up. 
this. I'm wondering. Yes, made it through. Um, I'm gonna roll to avoid you. Not sure that was actually necessary. Ow! <laughs> that hurt a little. And hello. Something up there? Nope. Okay. Guess I'm just pulling the switch, which opens the door. They're doing good. Avoid these evil things. Uh, that's probably going to kill us. Yep. That didn't go well. Alright, let's try this again. At least the checkpoint's only one room back. Uh, that was a really, really far jump. Farther than I meant to do. Probably need to take the jump not at a run. That's probably the trick there. Or, jump over it. There we go. I was like, wait a second, maybe I could take advantage here. Right. Drop down. Now yeah, drag this over. Do not attract attention to the giant mosquito of death. Trying to kill me there. Woo! Okay. I could make this jump. Aha! I made it through. Roll under here. Hey, we can climb vines. That was just a shot in the dark, but it seemed to work out. Hmm. Cool. It's fairly tight platforming. I approve of that. It's. Sometimes, you know. Oop. Nope, nope, nope. Ow. Oh. That was. Apparently, we do take fall damage if we're high enough up. Ooh. I forgot to roll. Well, that was short. Alright. Roll under. Climb up. Now, let's see. As long as I don't get too close to it. Thankfully, this side jump doesn't seem to add too much height, so you can get pretty close before making the jump. Like, okay, that's as high as we can get. Perfect. Nah. That's funny, trying to push on that. Okay. Falling platforms. Just what I expected eventually. And definitely glad I jumped all the way over. Don't want to hit those spikes. And climb down. The lack of music here is actually just slightly eerie, which I approve of. Oh! That was kind of gross. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that to shoot out a little orb that would destroy me. Uh, oops. It's an interesting thing. If you don't jump, you just fall straight down. I mean, that can be useful, but... I feel like you should have a little bit of forward momentum. Oh well. Not a big deal. Just part of the game mechanics. Now... Let's wait and see. Does this thing gonna shoot it? Yeah, it shoots it automatically, so wait for it to go away before I jump. I feel like there's a potential there's something hidden down below there. Uh-oh. But it's probably death. Uh, that's not good. Oh! Auto-scrolling section! This is kind of cool. I got ahead of myself. Let's try that again. What? For the sake of science. There's something to the left down there. Okay. Let's try this. Nope. Wouldn't let us grab it. Oh well. 
Force science! Oh, achievement unlocked. Ten deaths. Alright. Now, this time we won't get too far ahead of ourselves. I really like the music here in this little section. The crazy, you know, rocks are chasing you, the place is caving in. I jumped way too far there. Oh, uh, oh, but it gave us a little preview of what's to come, so let's try this now. All right, we're going to make it through this section. We can do it. I love the art style. I mentioned that early on, but just the sort of cartoony graphics, the really pretty ah, character sprites. I really like it. Oh, crap. I'm dead. Oh, that sound. But again, gave me a little preview of what's to come, so I'm definitely going to have to take advantage of that block by pushing it. At least I don't have to worry about the scroll now that I've got it. I live and learn. Ready? No, no, I didn't mean to do that. We're gonna not count that one, okay? All right, this time we're making it through at least farther than we made you know, the previous two times. I get why you can't go farther than the screen allows because they want it to be this you know sense of impending doom. But a small part of me is like, let me go further, come on. Alright, now, push this. That's enough. Come on. Nope, down, there we go. Oh gosh. Ooh! Ooh, I actually made it through that. I thought I was dead for a second. That was pretty freaking cool. Be careful when falling. Even if they don't kill you, recovering from the hit can sometimes leave you exposed to other predators. Hmm, good to know. So, on to our next section here. Michael and Wolfgang. Interesting. Wow, that was close, boy. I've been poking you with a stick for a while to wake you up. Are you ever going to wake up? Get up, boy! Oh, I like the music. Welcome to reality, boy. My name is Mike. How are you doing? Wow, I see you aren't a very communicative boy. You are in the presence of the great Michael Enjevic, one of Illusoria's best astronomers. What am I saying? Illusoria's best astronomer. Ahem, followed closely by my brother, but that's between you and me. I'm also a great inventor, scientist, biologist, astronaut, geologist, paleontologist, economist, taxidermist, cook, and much more. You must have heard of me, right? Huh? Ahem. Well, it looks like the afternoon has turned out nice. Well, I think it's best that I introduce you to my brother. He is a little extravagant, but don't let his appearance scare you. Please, follow me to the camp. Okay, this guy's a little weird. Um, he looks exactly like you. Wolfie, brother, we have a visitor. You know I hate it when you call me Wolfie. Ahem. Sorry, boy. My name is Wolfgang Injavik. 
astronomer and philosopher. You seem to have got away with that. That earthquake caused the part of the ruins of ancient Tarfei where you were to collapse. Said cave-in has destroyed part of Illusoria's history. We saw an object fall rapidly from the sky and crash into this forest. The object fell beyond the bridge located near our campsite. However, that bridge is out now. We need to ask you a favor first, my young friend. My impulsive brother is right. We need you to help us repair our telescope. The lens cracked during the tremor. Come with me, please, and I'll show you. Brother, please watch over the campsite. But, Wolfie! Thanks, brother. Well, these two are an odd pair, and that is a big telescope. This is our famous telescope. We used it to watch that object fall. Unfortunately, we didn't manage to identify it as the lens cracked due to the impact with the ground. So, we'll have to examine what it is from a distance before going off adventuring. Unfortunately, we don't have the parts required to repair it. We have some supplies spread around the ruins of Tarfei. We need you to find three golden cogs. You will later find a service lift that goes down into the ruins. Please find the parts and bring them. We will help you in any way we can. Watch out for the mosquitoes too. They can sometimes be a real headache. Yeah, by headache you mean they stab you in the head. All right, well, we're off. Grab that. Uh, what happens if I just keep running? Whoa! Death. Death is what happens if you keep running. So, instead... Oh, this is where we started. As I say, back to the lift. His appearance looks centric. You guys look identical. Down, down into the depths. Uh, I want to jump off and explore that level. Alright, well I guess I'm going down here. Let's try left first. Haha, <laughs> avoided you. Oh great. Um, can I... Ow. Thought maybe I could climb down that, but I guess not. You know what? I'm gonna go to the right instead. Let's see what lies down here. Perfect. Open this gate. Now make the jump. Hey, hey not a bad jump. Whoa. Oh, the door closed behind us. Okay, so we are in here now. All right, there's a golden cog. I think I can make the jump. I cannot make the jump. Ooh, but I'm down in a new area, okay. Whew, avoid those evil mosquitoes. These things are actually slightly terrifying. here. Yep. Yeah, that's so funny. Uh, oh, apparently you can't touch it at all until it's completely gone. I thought maybe it was safe after the splash. Nope. Too low. Come on. Barely avoided that guy. Okay, we can do this. Get past these guys. There we go. Now, head on up. Alright, wait for the orb to go by. Perfect. making it through. 
Oh, and I got the cog. All right, now we head down into the right, I presume. Probably, yep, I was gonna say, we're probably gonna need that box, aren't we? Mosquito, leave me alone. I got no beef with you. Aside from, you know, the fact that you apparently want to kill me. Okay, seriously, let me climb up. Alright, fine. Let go of it now. Okay, why won't it let me climb up this thing for crying out loud? Seriously, this is like, there's something wrong. It actually won't let me climb up. Let's try pushing this a little farther away so I can make a running jump at it. Okay. Let's try doing it from the other screen. Maybe something's wrong on this screen. I actually cannot climb this thing from this side. Okay! Uh, found a bug here. Okay, let's kill myself so that I can try this again. I think that's a game issue because it seems like you should be able to climb up it. Yeah. Okay, so that was just an issue that was occurring. Good, okay. <laughs> Don't kill me, mosquito. I'd like to get all three cogs in this episode, but judging by how big this place is, I might only be able to get the first two. There we go. I'm definitely gonna need this block, I'm sure. Alright. Push my way to the right. What awaits us over here? Yep, another mosquito and another spot to climb up. And there's the second cog. Hopefully we can get the third. Okay, stay away. There we go. Ooh! Cool. I really wish I could access what those say, but, you know. It's not letting us. Eh, whatever. I got the cog. I wonder where the third one is. Yes, roll away. Oh, wait. <laughs> I'm gonna need this back. Come on. It's a little slow pulling, but you know, that's, I feel like, what they were going for. Okay. It's kind of a cool aesthetic here. I'm wondering, you know, this feels like, you know, the first world, the forest world or whatever. I wonder what sort of aesthetic we're going to have going into uh, future settings and that jump did not go sideways. That went straight up. Where is it going to put me? Oh, back up here. All right. Let's do this, and this time we'll play it safe instead of trying to be fancy and jump off it. Well, the second one. The first one we can definitely jump off because there's no mosquito hanging around near us. There we go. You know, I haven't mentioned it, but I gotta say, the main character's eyebrows are intense. Giant black masses there. You know what? There we go, we're close enough. I should have taken care of the one to the right first, apparently, since gotta go to the left anyway to get back up. 
But that's okay. It gave us experience getting through this. So now, I'm a pro. And I can avoid them with ease. Watch me die in like a really stupid moment because I said that like that. Hopefully this should put us back at the middle section though. Yes, good. At least there's this. Okay, I want to at least get back and return the two cogs I've got. Let's do that. Come on. Out of my way, orbs. Go, good. Avoid this. And come on, spit it out. Good. Now, make the jump. Perfect. No, I've got a limited amount of time for this. Ooh, made a double jump there, or a double length jump. You know what? Let's pull this switch again just because. Not that it really matters. And climb on up. Ooh, barely dodged that. Alright, there, there's got to be something to the left here. You know what? I am totally exploring this way. There, there seriously has to be a way to grab onto that. Maybe it's not rolling, maybe it's just sort of hopping over the edge at just the right way. Ah, there we go! Just had to get right to the edge and press to the side. Okay, now wait for it to be higher. Perfect. Haha, -ha, you're not gonna hit me! Good, okay. Ooh, barely avoided him. Good, give me... Oh, here's that area I wanted to explore. Well, it there was a reason I wanted to explore that. All three cogs, and now they magically have a bridge. All right. Well, I say, let's get back up there and at least go check on their telescope. Okay, good. I was like, is this going to kill me? Back up we go. And they headed off to the right, so let's go look for them. You have anything to say? Oh, here we go. Hello, boy. Sorry we didn't wait for you, but in the end, we found the parts we needed in our camp. Really? So what was the point of me going and getting those? I hope you didn't find any problems obtaining them. Once fixed, we saw what had fallen in the forest and we had to return quickly. However, the route has been cut off, I'm afraid. There is an inactive service lift a little further on. Deactivate it, of course, or it'd be too easy. So, we're going to need someone to go down there and turn it on. You need to switch on three levers to restore the current. We would do it ourselves, but we don't want to kill ourselves. I agree with my brother for once. The world can't lose its best astronomer. Thanks for the compliment, Wolfie. Well, boy, we will wait for you here until you raise the surface lift. We are counting on you. Good luck, boy. Don't kill yourself. And I think with that, that's all we're doing here. I'm gonna leave it off. I I like this game. I'm very intrigued. It's some simple platforming. It reminds me of old school 2D kind of slightly stiffer platformers like Heart of Darkness or you know the Odd World games. But it's got some real potential here, and I can't wait to see what comes next. I definitely recommend you check this game out if you get a chance. Now, 
If you have any suggestions for other One Shot Saturdays, leave them in the comments. I would love to hear them. And if you enjoyed this video, click like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.